Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? This your boy, BJ. Um, gamer, mechanic, plumber, you name it, I do it all. Don't matter. Um, a lot of you guys have subscribed to me, and I'm still getting comments, and we still have this old 6 Impala. And um, I still get comments off the videos as far as the oil filter housing adapter gasket and the... Um, vehicle speed sensor the water pump um i still get a lot of comments on those videos man almost up to 100,000 views on a lot of those videos so i got another important video today i want to go over it with you guys um these impalas you know they have ugh, hundreds of flaws gm finally got it right when they switched to the body style but if you still drive a w body um which can be from 2000 to uh 2014 limited that's the older body styles you know but uh common issues blend door actuators i haven't did a video on that because 06 doesn't really have that problem that's the only year it clicks every now and then but not enough to drive you crazy like the other models uh but the main topic of this today i want to talk about the uh heat and ac fan i notice a lot of people been having issues out of these uh heater blower motors a lot of issues okay um, mine started where I had to slap on the dash or we hit a bump, it cuts off, come back on. And then it just gradually got worse and worse and worse and worse. Got to the point where we had to put our foot up under the dash and move the wires around. And, uh, I want to show you guys something. Cause this is your trouble guide. If I can find what I did with the damn blower motor. I took the old one out. I just gotta find it. Bear with me. I gotta see where that son bitch is at. Oh, I'm looking right at it. Excuse my French, y'all. I'm just a mechanic. It's like to, that's just nature. I'm like a sailor at times. All right, so I'm gonna flip this camera around, and y'all gotta excuse my pajamas. I'm working on a car, so I'm not trying to be flying all that shit. Okay, here we go. This here is your heater blower motor resistor okay so i went through a couple steps and uh matter of fact let me go in my house but i want to show you all this remember i was telling you about this short so this thing sits up just like this under the dash right onto the left of the heater blower motor i want to show you guys this on the harness i had to replace the harness too which was very simple very cheap parts you can get them on online for very reasonable but i'm not for sure if this is the oe one because one of the bolts were missing in it it's supposed to have two bolts but only one was in there so i put one back in there but um if you notice in there i got a good clear shot that uh d and e port was burned up and that's your most common issue on a heater blower motor that's the most common issue that's where the short starts in that if you have a faulty harness and you uh replace the harness go ahead and get the heater blower resistor because you're going to thank me later after this video because after i went through all that wiring which it wasn't bad it was three wires um red black and a uh, purple wire and uh on the newer harnesses some of them are gray but it's a very skinny wire so it's very easy and then there's one that plugs in directly to the blower so i'm gonna crawl up under here now as you can see this here is your heater blower motor where that harness clicks clicks into that that orange and purple wire look for it to be frayed burnt you know that's where the issue comes from um and then you have this or this orange and blue wire that goes to the fan motor it's a harness right there okay that whole thing costs about 18 bucks. I got it off of Amazon for 18 bucks, a wiring harness, and I paid $19 for the resistor, which is a hell of a lot cheaper than the parts store, trust me. Because uh, you don't want to go to the parts store, you're going to pay about 70 bucks. So um, the procedure was I spliced the old wires and I got them tucked up under there, but I spliced them and uh, I hooked red to red, black to black purple to purple or some might have purple to gray but there's only one little thin wire 
uh, I can't get good lighting under here. There's only that one thin wire, but you, your new harness might have a uh, purple wire versus a gray. But there's only three wires in this procedure. The bolt right here, uh, damn it, I can't really get to it, but let's see. My fingers on it, you'll see a bolt. Some of them might have two, some of them might have one, but you can see it sticking out right there. The bolt size is a 5.5 uh, millimeter. I use the, because um, of this plastic shit, um, I use the uh, ratchet and a uh, without an extension and had to take baby turns. So be prepared for your wrist to be hurt because there's some baby turns. And then I had to pry it out because there were these clips on there, but one screw just holds it up there fine. Um, next, I uh, plug the harness in there. And when I did it in the old one, I plugged it back in here and the fan stayed on. So I said, damn it. So even with the key off, the fan would continue to run. Now, if your heating fan continues to run with the key out, the motor off, vehicle off, then you need to replace the resistors because it's stuck. And that's this little piece of crap thing right here. That's what your common issue is. Now, during the installation, you might blow a fuse. So I'm gonna show you where you won't have to hunt and pick. So, all the hollers, no matter which engine you got, if you got the 5.3, or the 3.5, or the 3.6 that comes in some of them, your fuse box. Uh, pop that off now this original this here goes to your heater blower now originally it's a 30 amp fuse I popped the 50 cuz I worked third shift and got a little dyslexic and hooked red to black and black to red and popped it so then I plugged another one in there popped it and I said oh I got the wires crossed but that was my mistake just tired uh, but I put a 40 amp in there so this top fuse here i don't know what they call them um uh, maxi fuses or whatever the hell they are but they do these blocky looking fuses that is your heater blower fuse right there okay so if you blow the fuse that's what you're going to have to replace now the issue we were having out of this car every time we would turn the ac on we had to or then the fan would come on or put a foot up under there and all that other crap so uh, it's a 10 to 15 minute job tops, uh, but now the fan works fine. I have all the controls. As you can see, she's blowing her little flowers. Gradually goes up, but that is easy. So remember the tools you'll need is a, uh, 5.5 millimeter 5.5 millimeter um, some people like to use a nut driver but I'm gonna be honest with you you're not gonna get up under there with it so take your little shorty uh, ratchet uh, and uh, no extension because if you have the two bolts in there that left bolt on closer to the driver's side is gonna be a pain in the ass you're gonna have to baby turn the hell out of it and um, pry the clips off and if you want, I'm telling you, you don't have to, uh, if that left bolt gives you hell, which I didn't have it in there, I just, it's only one bolt was in there and it was on the left side. I just put it on the right and the resistor holds up fine. Uh, hope this helps you guys, but, um, you know, I just wanted to get my advice out there on these Impalas because I know I'm not the only one going through it. And uh, you guys have a good day. You need me, drop some in the comments.